So before the video starts, I just want to say that this contains spoilers about Danganronpa 1 and 2. So if you haven't played those games or watched somebody play, I recommend you check it out first. I'll put the link in the description. But if you don't mind it, then I hope you enjoy this video. What is going on? And welcome to the video where I will rank every character in Danganronpa V3. But without having played the game in the first place. You might be asking how will I do that? Well, I have played the demo on my stream, you can check it out if you want to, I'll put the link in the description as well. Based on how they show their characters, emotions, design, and how I felt for them through the demo, I'll rank them as they are right now, but hopefully I will change them in the future along the other Duncan Ropa characters. So without further ado, let's start! First in our list is Angie Yunaga. The first time when I met her, she was the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Oh, oh my god, oh, so cute! Heck, even you guys asked me if I like her or not, which I had to wholeheartedly respond honestly. Being the ultimate artist with free mind and big soul, she puts a lot of faith in her god Achua. She did mention something about being from an island, so I think it's kind of a worshipping god. She believed Atua so much that she accused me of being the culprit in the first class trial. Aside from that, her character design doesn't have too much to talk about and since I haven't done the free time event with any character in Danganronpa V3, I'll put her in the A tier for now. Second on our list is Gonta Gokuhara. Thank you. Despite being a thick boy, he is what is known as a baby inside of a giant. He also doesn't wear any shoes, or sandals if you are the weird type. He's literally Nekumaro Nidai, but the reverse and also he loves bugs. But if you don't like bugs, he will squish you like one. I don't know how I feel about this character since he's just a giant baby, and I feel like it's not that much of an original character. I can pretty much tell that he will have a traumatic past or something like that and because of it, he will be killed or kill someone in the game. It won't be much of hell in the class trials either besides some comedy or opinions, so I'll put him in the C tier. Next we have our lolly mage Himiko Yumeno. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeno, the ultimate mage. Disguising as a magician but she is just a small little dum-dum. I'm pretty sure that this is the first time Duncan Rumpa has introduced us to a lolly character and she also gives me the Yasuhiro Gundam type, if that makes sense. She believes that she is a mage even though she is not and from the class trial she didn't care that much about the murder case so it will be interesting to see if there will be someone who she knew got murdered and gets emotional using her mage skills to solve the case or something like that. I do think that she will get executed later on but the chances are slim. So I'll put her in the B tier. No. K1B0 or Kibo. Unlike Alter Ego in Danganronpa 1, he is a robot created by Professor Idabashi. Yeah, he will be an important character later. Also, he is different from Mechamaru since he is a robot to begin with, which is kind of a combination of Alter Ego and Mechamaru. Another traumatizing past I believe, and I'm sure that he is a good quote unquote person, but he might kill someone due to the class trial and Monokuma's motives. Or simply just kill for the sake of it, I don't know. To be honest, his design isn't the best either, but I'll put him in the B tier for now. And now. For our newest game Danganron before the online experience. Ah, uh, Kaede Akumatsu, our main protagonist and also the ultimate pianist if you know what I mean. Our first film protagonist in Danganronpa series, woke up in the class, don't remember anything, and has my code with Hajime being sims over her, Danganronpa V3 sure is something. I feel like Kaede is the first more normal student and confident in the situation she is in right now. She has an ultimate that is considered as an ultimate, while also not standing out too much like Hajime or Makoto in the previous games. The fact that the class trial makes her go into the spotlight is just brilliant from Spike Chunsoft, but the murder that took place is just too dull, especially Makoto's reaction to it being the murder scene that started it all, or maybe because this is just a demo after all. 
I like Claire's design, from her emotions to her different character postures, especially her eyes. She truly deserves to be in the S tier, in my opinion, through the demo. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. Kaito Momota reminds me of Leon Kuwata simply from his personality and his character design. Danganronpa V3 took his ultimate to a whole new level with being the ultimate astronaut. He is also one of the few that cared about investigating the murder scene, but sucks at it. He didn't even have a chance to resist. No, that's wrong. Bruh. Just like everyone else. I just can't stop having the feeling that he will get murdered later on in the game, but it could be one of Spike Chun's sub traps, who knows. While having an ultimate that does shines him out from the rest of the students, I just can't relate to him that much so I'll put him in the C tier for now. Also, is he wearing a shirt similar to Nagito's but different shape? Ultimate Maid, Kirumi Tojo is one of my favorite characters designed in this game. Also, she will do anything she's requested to do. In fact, she's so perfect, it said that she can complete any- oh my god. You say any request, huh? <laughs> Her personality is also great, not over the top like the other characters which makes me calm around her whenever I talk to her. The fact that she is a wonderful maid and also calm timid when it comes to solving the murder case in a class trial, I just can't think of anything bad for her. So she is in S tier for me. I don't know why but characters like this makes me think that they will have some kind of plot twist later on. Hey! Can you hear me? I'm gay! Kokichi Oma, more like Nagito Komaeda, am I right? <laughs> to be honest, this is Nagito version 2.0, but more malicious and child looking right from the beginning. I hate him, but at the same time I love him. I admire his personality, it's just so good. He will definitely be a huge nonsense later on in the game, but I just want to see him in action, you know? The more different they are, the better, and Kokichi is one of my types of an antagonist. He is full of emotions, a snake, a baby, and definitely super evil, or more of a butt if you prefer that. I can't wait to see what kind of things he will do in the game. For me, he earned a solid S tier for sure. James Bald, aka Korekiyo Shinguji, gotta give this man a huge respect for wearing a mask preventing the COVID disease unlike the other students. Despite his Russian hitman looks, he is actually an ultimate anthropologist, a person who scientifically studies humans and their customs, beliefs and relationships. That long hair is totally not ripped off of someone I know and once again, one point for the beautiful eyes. Yet again, he isn't someone who might be that important to the story. Not much in the class trial, so I'll put him in the A tier. Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. Maki Harukawa, the babysitter, aka ultimate child caregiver, aka Leon Kuwata, I don't like me ultimate that much. Like she explained, the kids just comes after her, horny brats. And, being from an orphanage herself, I'm pretty sure she will also have a sorrowing past, or might be the yandere shotakon type for a great plot twist. One point for the red eyes cause you know why, but then again, she is ruined in the class trial. Why so many of them are just so dumb for god's sake? Well, nevertheless, A tier cause I like her character in general. Just relax, this'll all be over once we reach the- OH GOD I'M COOLING ah! We finally have a Tsundere, maybe, Mio Iruma. I can't explain her now so I hope I will get a better view of her in the game. She shows off as a mean, bully kind of gal, but then again, when she makes a mistake or being ignored, she will be sad but not for long if you pay attention to her. She also feels embarrassed about accepting her fault, might because of her ultimate. I hope she will have a great character development in the game and not just a fan service for being the bad type girl. I was going to put her in the B tier, but I like her character design so an A tier for her. The ultimate playboy, Rentaro Amami, aka Hajime 2.0. He shows up as a nice guy but not a foolish one. Despite his looks, 
he is quite clever and sure is calm for not remembering his ultimate, also saying he might not possess any. In a class trial, he sure gave Monokuma some rules to benefit the outsiders, since he couldn't join but at the same time, I feel like he will be like Kokichi, not much but there is a chance. He is a normal playboy but just because he is clever and S tier for him. I also wonder what is his ultimate, playboy? You've been no... Um, Ryoma Hoshi. I don't know what were they thinking when they created this character. He isn't bad, but just not a dank and rumpa if that makes sense. Once killed somebody during his days of being a tennis player to protect someone. Also, he is that edgy kid in your class where he tries to be cool but fails so yeah, the D tier for him. I hope I will change my opinion about him but it is unlikely that it will happen. Anyway, I'm warning you, it's dangerous to just walk up to talk to a killer like me. This mother Shuichi Saihara, aka Makoto and Hajime, but actually more useful cause being a detective and all that. It's interesting to see that Shuichi could have been the protagonist of this game, since he is normal and that has always been how Danganronpa played, but this time he is a side character. I guarantee you he will be with us till the end like Kyoko, or might be another plot twist from Spectrum stuff, so for a normal high school student, he is a B tier. We had Gay Nagito, so now we have our Yuri Tanko Chabashira. Being a girl, but she is actually the ultimate Aikido master. Self study Aikido with her grands while also detest Mel. It's pretty sure that we will have some rounds about this character. She could be the Tsundera type in the end, or still be a Yuri but with more spacious look of Mel. It's hard to say she will be any outstanding character in this game. Sakura is even a better character than her, but I'll give her the B tier since I'm hoping for something. Look at this dude! <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head! <laughs> Finally, Jesus Christ, I'm out of breath. We have the ultimate cosplayer Tsumugi Shirogane. I don't know if she is an airhead or what. It will be interesting to see if she will cosplay any other Dagon Ropa characters from the previous games or something like that. Her killing style could also be while she is cosplaying another student which will make the class trial even more interesting. Funny enough, she doesn't like being watched by people despite being a cosplayer. Many students in this game either don't like their ultimates or there is some side effects on it, I don't know. What well, B tier for her. And that's it. Surprisingly enough, I only put it 4 characters in the S tier, even though I like every single character in this game. Just a reminder that this is me miracing them without having played the game, so I might change them in the future after I get more info and their characteristic. Do you guys agree with my ranking or do you feel that I should have gave some of the other students S tier as well? Well, this will end today's video. It was a lot of talking, not gonna lie, but I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I'm trying some new stuff on my channel so the videos might get out later than usual, like this one in particular. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.